We are on a rate of 30 with a pip of 18 and a peep of 6. Gas is 714, 70, 35, 18, and minus 3. No, this gas is not good. We need to go ahead and make some changes. Let's find out what you would do. What does this mean with these three numbers? We have an acidosis and the bicarbonate is fairly normal. What that means is that we have a straight up acute respiratory acidosis. If the baby was able to blow up the CO2 or if we make the changes that we're gonna do on the vent, we'll be able to get that CO2 to come down. pH would be fairly normal. Okay, so I hear what you're saying. So um, we could go up on the rate or we can also go up on the pressures. Let's think about which one we wanna do first. So, we need to figure out, do we work with the rate or do we work with the pressure? That's really important because both of them actually can change your CO2. We know that if we increase the rate on the ventilator, we'll blow off more CO2. If you blow off your CO2 like that, we're actually not only gonna get a little lightheaded, but more importantly, you're gonna blow off that CO2. Actually, that's why you get a little lightheaded. In this case, you can work with the rate. The other thing you can do is with the pressures, but it's not just going up on the pressures. What we need to understand here is that the ability to blow up CO2 changes when you increase the difference between your PIP and your PEEP. Your PIP being your positive inspiratory pressure, that first pressure you use to open up the lung, and your PEEP being your positive end expiratory pressure, the pressure that prevents from collapsing. That difference in pressures, in this case, 18 over six, gives you a delta P difference of pressures of 12. If you increase that delta P, if you increase the difference between those two, you will actually blow off more CO2. If you decrease that delta P, you will hold on to CO2. So right now, we're at a delta P of 12. If we wanted to increase, let's say, the PIP to 20, we'll have 20 over 6. Now, we have a difference of 14. We've gone up from a delta P of 12 to 14, which means we are able to blow up more CO2. But make sure you hit that like button. Definitely helps. How do you actually decide whether you choose the rate or the pressure? This is where the tidal volume comes in. To explain this a little bit more, let's go ahead and jump back to the NICU. The tidal volume is 5.5 mils per kilo. Our tidal volume is 5.5 milliliters per kilo. Mm, what do you think we should do with this patient? Given that, we definitely don't want to blow a new mole. So I would probably go up on the raid and that should do the trick. Maybe follow up a gas. Okay, so we determined this baby has a tidal volume of 5.5 mils per kilo. What does that actually mean? For babies, the normal tidal volume should be between four milliliters per kilo to six milliliters per kilo. If you're on the low end of that, you are close to collapsing. Therefore, you would probably wanna work on the pressure. On the opposite side, if you're on the real high end of that, if you're over six per kilo, you might be over distended. When you're over distended, you cannot relax that alveolus, which means you hold on to CO2. So you may be actually inadequately holding on to CO2 because you put too much pressure. The thing to do there is actually decrease your pressure a little bit, your tidal volume, and you can go ahead and increase your rate at that point. Yeah, Rick, I, I like your plan, perfect. Let's go ahead and repeat this gas in about an hour. Um, what do you think? Are you okay with this plan? Do you think we should do this? Make the changes that we talked about and also get a gas in an hour? Perfect, great. I like your plan. Let's get it done, everybody. So, when you're trying to determine rate over pressure, ask the tidal volume. If you're smack in the middle of that, five mils per kilo, you know you can increase your rate. If you feel like you're a little collapsed on the low end of that, increase your pressure, increase your PIP. That way you're gonna increase that difference between your PIP and your PIP. That's All good. right, great job in helping this baby get better. And if you wanna recap on ventilators, I actually have a video up here that talks about the settings and a little bit about mechanical ventilation. So go check it out and otherwise we'll see you with the next video.